Prior to loading the base into the Colstein carrier, it is recommended that the bows be loaded in place before insertion of the instrument. Bows not stored in a hard shell bow case can be loaded into the rear padded foam protective accommodation pads in the trunk. The head of the bow should be inserted into the padded slot situated at the rear scroll area of the carrier. The frog will nestle into the plush velour foam pads in the rear of the trunk with rubber shock cords securing the frog to the foam pads. Bows being shipped in a hard shell bow case have storage facilities in the front half of the carrier. The bow case should be inserted into the slotted area to the rear of the front scroll shock area. Once inserted, the lower section of the bow case can be secured inside the trunk by the attached shock cord, which is simply wrapped around the handle of the hard shell case and then clipped to the trunk hardware. Once this is accomplished, the loading procedure for the base may now begin. It is strongly suggested that the base should be loaded into the carrier in the upright or vertical position. Prior to loading the base, loosen all the suspension system belts to allow the base to be fit into the Colstein carrier. These suspension systems include the upper scroll suspension system, the neck block base suspension system, the leather padded center bout securing belt, and the Y yoke main sling suspension system. With all suspension systems unclipped and loosened, adjust the foam center bouts of the case to accommodate the instrument's width at its center as well as to accommodate overall body length of the instrument. The center bouts are adjusted simply by loosening the securing wing nuts located at the bottom platform of the center bout. Center bouts may be adjusted in all possible directions once these wing nuts are loosened. This procedure may require placing the base into the trunk to make certain the center bouts are properly fit for the particular base that will be loaded. Once in the desired position, tighten the wing nuts thoroughly. It should be noted that once the center bouts are properly adjusted, they need not be adjusted again, unless a different dimension base is being loaded into the Colstein base carrier. You may now place the base onto the properly adjusted center bouts of the carrier. Attach the upper scroll shock system by tightly wrapping the nylon cam around the scroll several times. Secure the webbing through the spring release buckle utilizing the rubber padding to protect the scroll from metallic hardware. Please note, if the base has a low C-string extension, it is recommended that the 1-inch nylon cam be wrapped behind the extension, not around it. It is best to have the 1-inch nylon cam directly on the scroll and peg box. The upper scroll suspension system has a 1 inch nylon cam that threads into a spring tooth buckle mounted to the back of the trunk. At this point, tighten up the slack in this 1 inch cam. Newer Uni Air carriers have this cam affixed directly to the rear of the case so no adjustment is needed. In either scenario, this system gives extra security to the position of the instrument in the trunk in the event the trunk ends up in an upside down position while in transit. At the base of the neck is a secondary neck suspension system. Wrap the 1 inch nylon cam around the neck over the fingerboard and strings. Thread the 1 inch cam through the spring release buckle over the strings and tighten securely. Make certain that the rubber padding is in place to protect the instrument from metallic hardware. Now secure the foam padded leather restraint belt to secure the instrument in the padded center bouts. Wrap the extension protective pad over the edge of the top table, making certain that the 2-inch metal take-up belt buckle is not exposed to the top of the instrument. With the Y-yoke padded 2-inch main sling loosened, allow it to cradle the lower bout ribs of the instrument. 
The Y yoke design should have one section of the yoke in front of the end pin and the other section of the yoke situated behind the end pin, both laying flat on the ribs. Tighten the main sling so as to lift the instrument slightly into a more suspended position above the lower shock platform. The take-up buckle is located in the upper section of the trunk. The 2-inch nylon cam should be threaded through the take-up buckle as demonstrated. The end pin of the instrument should be suspended slightly above the shock platform. In situations where the base has an exceptionally long end pin shaft, removal of the shaft may be necessary, and you can secure it safely in the trunk. At this point, the patent-pending Uni-Air suspension airbags can be inflated as follows. It is suggested that prior to the actual inflation of the airbags within the Colstein carrier, that purge of the safety relief air valve be accomplished to make certain this air valve is properly functioning. Close the shutdown T-valve in the rear of the base carrier to the closed perpendicular position. Unclip the inflation bulb. Close the relief screw on the air bulb to allow for inflation. Pump the air bulb and you will hear the safety relief air valve relieve itself. This procedure will purge the valve and let you know it is fully operative. Now you're ready to do the actual inflation of the airbags. Open the rear shutdown T-valve to allow air to flow into the airbags within the carrier. Squeeze the inflation bulb to inflate the airbag. The suspension system will inflate to its maximum. At this point, the system's safety relief valve will relieve itself to avoid overinflation. This tells you that the airbags are now fully inflated. It is always prudent to use caution and care when inflating the airbags. The safety relief valve will indicate the system is fully inflated when a release of air from the valve is heard. The air valve will automatically stop relieving air pressure. Once the system is inflated, again locate the shutdown T-valve in the back of the carrier and rotate the shutoff valve to the perpendicular position. This will close the air system off, preventing the possibility of deflation of the airbag system while in use. At this point, reclip the inflation ball pump into its proper storage position in the case. To release the air in the suspension airbags, simply open the shutoff valve by rotating the valve to the open position. Release the screw valve on the ball pump to allow all of the air to escape from the airbag system. Please note, it is important that the safety relief valve be periodically tested before each use to check that it is in proper operating condition. When the airbags are fully inflated, the base will be securely fastened within the Uni Air Base Carrier, totally insulated against movement within the case. Be certain that all inflation apparatus is secured into its proper storage area. All suspension systems now must be rechecked and retightened prior to shipment. The Uni Air Base Carrier has an accessory compartment located at the front of the velour apron in the front of the case. The carrier also has a clip-out accessory mesh bag and wardrobe hanger for clothing. To load a base bag, it is recommended that the carrier have the lid closed, then the trunk should be laid down on its back. The top can be opened with the nylon opening straps holding the top of the case open. Please note, use extra caution when the top is in this position to prevent the top from accidentally coming down while placing the base cover into the case. The base cover can now be gently placed over the top of the loaded base and the top of the trunk can be closed. With the top closed, all locks can be clasped and securely closed. The Colstein Uni Air Base Carrier has been designed with a minimum amount of maintenance being necessary. This includes regular oiling of locks and hinges, if scratching should occur on the exterior of the case, applying crude oil on a scratched area will eliminate the abrasive marks. And if hardware is damaged, replacement parts are available and may be installed by standard 1364th inch pop rivet tools available at any hardware outlet. The Colstein Uni Air Base Carrier is the sole design of Colstein Music Incorporated. Colstein has worldwide manufacturing and distribution ownership of the Colstein Uni Air Base Carrier.